I start with five chains. One, two, three, four, five, and I join them into a ring with a slip stitch. Next, I will be crocheting into the ring and I also will crochet over this short thread tail so it gets hidden under the stitches. First, into the ring, I work a beginning double crochet. If you are not comfortable making a beginning double crochet, you can replace it with three chains. Next, three chains. One, two, three, and into the ring, a double crochet. Again, three chains, one, two, three, and into the ring, a double crochet. Three chains, one, two, three, and into the ring, a double crochet. And I continue crocheting this way until I have eight double crochets in total and eight chain three spaces. Here I am at the end of the round. I just made the last three chains and now I join this round with a slip stitch to the first double crochet. The next round is going to be a round of double crochets. I start with the beginning double crochet into the same stitch as joining. Now into the next chain three space, I work four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Into the next double crochet, I work a double crochet. Into the next chain three space, again I work four double crochets. One, two, three, four. And into the next double crochet, I work a double crochet. And that's how I'm going to continue crocheting this round. At the end of the round, I joined with a slip stitch to the first double crochet. And the next round is going to be a round of treble clusters. I started by making three chains. And into the same double crochet where I joined, I work two trebles finished together. One. Two. Now I finish all the stitches on the hook together and I make one chain and I pull it tight to secure this cluster. So together with these three chains, this counts as treble three cluster. Next I'm going to skip the next four double crochets. One, two, three, four. And into the next double crochet, I work a cluster again. So three trebles finished together. One, two, three. Now I finish them together and I make one chain and pull it tight to secure. Next five chains. One, two, three, four, Five, and into the same double crochet where I already worked this cluster, I'm going to work one more cluster. So three trebles finished together. One, two, three. I finish them all together and I make one chain and pull it tight to secure. I'm going to skip the next four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next one again I work a cluster, five chains and a cluster. So one, two, Three. I finish them all together, one chain pull tight to secure, then five chains, 
and three more trebles finished together or another cluster one two three and one chain and pull tight and that's how I'm going to continue crocheting this round at the end of the round I need to add one more cluster over here where I started the round so into the same double crochet where I made the very first cluster I'm going to work one more cluster one two three now one chain I pull tight and I work five chains one two three four five and join with a slip stitch to the top of the first cluster and this round is now finished I start the next round by making one chain and into the space in between these two clusters I work a single crochet. Now I will be working into this chain 5 space and here I work 9 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and into the space in between these next two clusters I work a single crochet and now into this chain five space again I will work five double crochets then over here I will work a single crochet and that's how I'm going to continue crocheting this round and at the end of the round I join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet the next round is also going to be a round of double crochets but also in between the double crochets I will make one chain I start this round by slip stitching into the first double crochet of this next group of nine double crochets and also into the second double crochet and then I make a beginning double crochet or you can replace it with three chains next one chain and into the next double crochet I work a double crochet one chain and into the next double crochet I work a double crochet and so on one chain and a double crochet one chain and a double crochet However, I don't make a double crochet into the last double crochet, I leave it unworked and I don't make a chain here, but now I skip the first double crochet of the next group of double crochets and into the second one I work a double crochet. So notice over here I had chain one spaces, but in between two pattern repeats I don't have a chain next one chain and into the next double crochet a double crochet again a chain and a double crochet and again over here the last double crochet I leave unworked I don't make a chain here but I make a double crochet into the second double crochet of the next group of nine double crochets and again I will continue crocheting like this one chain and a double crochet one chain and a double crochet at the end again over here I leave this last double crochet unworked and now I join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet and this round is finished there is only one more round and it's gonna be very easy it's gonna be a round of single crochets 
I start with one chain and into this double crochet where I joined, I work a single crochet. Next, I work a single crochet into the next chain one space, a single crochet into the next double crochet, and a single crochet into the next chain one space. And that's what I'm going to do in this round, making a single crochet into each double crochet and into each chain one space. I join with a slip stitch. The coaster is perfectly round and it doesn't even need to be blocked. 